Welcome. In this session of Code Bytes, we're going to work with Python lists. So let's create a simple list of our friends. So we'll call the list friends. And we'll um, then create a list of friends. Lists are defined by brackets. And then we'll put the list of our friends in side of the brackets. Each friend is separated by a comma and is surrounded by parentheses because they're strings. Notice if I don't put quotation marks around it, it um, does not it does not consider it a string. And then once you're done, close off the list with the close bracket. And then we can go ahead and print our list. So let's say print friends. And you can see our list of four friends. Okay, so if we want to access um, the first name in the list, um, we need to use the index number. The first one is at position zero. So if we want to print Thomas, we can say friends at bracket zero bracket and if we want to access Bill it's going to be friends at one and if we want to access Kate she's friends at index two And Jake is the last person in our list right now, so he's at three. And the reason the first index is at zero is because computers start counting at zero rather than one. Okay, so let's say we want to not just print one friend, but we want to print a range of friends. So we can say print friends. And let's say we're going to start at value 2 and go to now. The values here are inclusive, exclusive. So since we want to get Kate and Jake, Kate is at 2. Thomas, remember Thomas is at 1. Bill is at, Thomas is at 0. Bill is at 1. Kate is at 2. And Jake is at 3. So we'll use 2 for Kate because it's inclusive and we, it's, the second number is exclusive, or the number that comes after the last one that we want. In this case, it's four because Jake is at position three. So we get those two. If I would use print friends two comma three, I'm only going to get Kate. So we can add to our list. So go ahead and add your name to the list if it isn't already there. So I can say friends dot append and I can add a, another name like Adam. And go ahead and print our new list. And we see Adam has been appended to the end of the list. We can also um, sort our list in alphabetical order. So we can say friends dot sort and print our sorted list. And we can see that the names have been put in alphabetical order. We can also add a name at a particular place in the list. So let's say we want to add Jill. So she's going to come after Jake. So we want her at 0, 1, 2. We want her at the third position. So we can say friends dot insert 3 comma Jill. Because we want her at the third index and we're going to add her name Jill and don't forget to put her name in quotes and 
and then we'll go ahead and print our new list with our new friend added. Other things we can do is find the length of the list. So we'll um, use the len method. So we say len, and we pass in the name of our friends list. And it says we have six items in the list. So Adam, Bill, Kate, Jill, Jake, Jill, Kate, and Thomas. We can also get the index number of a particular name. So we can say friends index. And let's say we want to know what position Kate is at. So we'll type in Kate's name. And we can see that she's at position 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 for Kate. We can also reverse the order of a list. So you can say friends dot reverse. And we can print the reversed list. So these are all some um, interesting methods that you can use with lists. What happens though? if you want to get the last item in the list, like Adam. So that's a little bit more complicated. So we have to basically, remember we can um, print a range, but we only want the last item. So we want to use the length of the list. And um, remember it's inclusive, exclusive. So we want length minus one for our inclusive number, and we want length for our exclusive number because length minus one actually gives you the last item in the list. So what we do is we say print friends bracket, and then we want um, len friends minus one for our first value, and len friends Our second value, then we close the brackets and we still need to have a parenthesis for the print statement. And you can see we get the last name in the list. We can also delete lists by just saying delete friends. And then if we try to print friends, we'll get it. It'll throw an error because the list friends no longer exists. And last but not least, we can create empty lists to add two things, to add things to later. So we can say new friends. Is equal and empty list is defined by two empty brackets. And we try to print new friends. You can see that it's blank. So we don't want to have no friends at all. So let's add just one friend before we quit. So we're going to say new friends dot append. And we're going to add D. And so then we have at least one friend before we leave. All right, so that is um, it for basic um, list operations, and we'll be using this, some of these in our project, Songs and Rhymes, and we'll also be using them later on in the course. Have a good day.